Ega is the grammatical subject particle, subject verb object or subject object verb. That subject who does the action is marked with this ega. I watch Korean dramas. I the subject, and unnun is not related to grammar. It's about the topic, the content, what you are talking about. So it can actually come after subject or object or location. And when it becomes confusing to you is when the subject of the sentence I is also the topic. I am talking about myself. I'm introducing myself. I am Jerim. So in that case, which one should I use? In general, start with unnun because you're bringing up a topic. With I, I watch TV, I did my homework. You start with 저는. 저는 한국 드라마 봐요. 저는 어제 숙제 했어요. Because you're not saying I did my homework. It's more like I, as for me, that's how you translate 은는 in English, as for me, I did homework. Did homework part is more important in that sentence. So it sounds always more natural to just start with 저는 if you're just talking about what you did, what you do, what you're going to do, or how you feel. 아기는 예뻐요. 아기가 예뻐요. Both the subject is the baby. What's the difference? When you say 아기가 예뻐요, that particular subject, all uppercase, this baby is adorable. Oh, what a cute baby. You use 아기가 너무 예뻐요. 아기는 예뻐요 is a general statement. Babies are cute. All babies. 김치가 진짜 맛있어요. You're talking about this particular kimchi. Mm, 김치가 너무 맛있어요. No, 선생님, I'm talking in general. Kimchi is so delicious. Well then, 김치는 너무 맛있어요. So if you're talking about just general sentence, you will use 은는. However, if you're talking about a particular subject, you'll use 이가.